So today's video I'm going to be doing my Q&A and I recently posted on literally all of my social media sites asking if you guys had any questions and I got quite a fair amount and I'm going to be answering them all today. I think I got about maybe like 35 which is a lot of questions that I have to get through in this video. So I have already tried filming this once today but my camera actually died on me because I actually forgot to charge my battery last night so it was literally dead and I was like fuck. Before I start the video, I just want to do a little bit of a shout out to one of my newest friends on YouTube. She is so gorgeous and she has such an amazing channel. Her name is Ison and I'm so sorry if I pronounce your name wrong. You should go subscribe to her. I'll link her channel in the description below. Also, I wanted to kind of address the elephant in the room. Um, yes, I took my extensions out and I took them out yesterday. And I know it's weird because I was literally talking about my extensions in my last video and how much I love them. And I really do miss them, but I really had to take them out because I was getting so much build up at the root area. And it was disgusting. So I needed to take them out and my hair looks very short and very damaged and I need to cut it and I need to dye it so it might look a little bit ratchet in this video which I'm sorry about but you guys are gonna have to deal with it. I didn't actually get any questions from Twitter but I've got questions from Snapchat, Instagram and YouTube so I'm gonna be answering hopefully all of them today. I'm gonna start off with Snapchat questions and if you aren't following me on Snapchat yet then you should totally go and add me on Snapchat. I'm always posting videos and snaps on there and you can also see a lot of behind the scenes footage if you want to be in my next Q&A video, if you want to ask me a question through Snapchat then go add me on there. I'll link it in the description below along with all my other social media links and also for Snapchat I'm gonna keep the names anonymous because I don't really want to give anyone's usernames out just because I feel like that's a little bit invading their privacy. So the first question is what fan brush do you use? And I use a really really cheap one from Amazon. I'll link it in the description below but I think it was like two pounds and it does the trick. It came like in a couple days and I use it pretty much every day to apply like my highlight and my blush. The next question is where do you get your nails done? And I got quite a few questions about my nails because I have recently been getting acrylics quite a lot. So I get my nails done in a a salon called Jenny's Nail Spa and it's in Truro where I live. It's actually a pretty good nail spa, not gonna lie. It's not the best, but it's cheap and they do they do it so so fast in there. I think I'm normally in and out within an hour, so I think it's really good. They're 30 pounds for a set of acrylics and 20 pounds for infills, I think. They just get it done really quickly and that's what I like most about it, is that it, it's really quick because I hate just sitting in a nail salon for like hours just because I'm getting a set on. I've been and gotten gels before and they took forever. I really didn't like it so I went back there and I was like oh thank god I can just get out here um, because I feel like it's so awkward just sitting in there and get your nails done so I love how it's really quick. Hey just randomly wondering, wondering what you're taking in college. Also I love your makeup it looks flawless. I am taking beauty therapy level 2 diploma and I didn't originally want to do that and I don't still don't really want to do that like not gonna lie if you know you probably know this already but i want to be a makeup artist and i want to take makeup artistry at some point and i really wanted to do it first year in college because i just wanted to get straight in that however for first years you either have to do a hair and beauty course or a beauty therapy course so i was like you know what i'm just gonna do beauty therapy i don't want to do hair because that is not what i want to do and beauty therapy is actually the foundation that you need to actually move on to make part of I'm doing it for two years until I'm 18 and then I'm going to do a makeup artistry course. I don't know whether I'm going to do it with the college or I'm going to go like up to London. I'm not completely sure what I'm doing in two years. I'm just kind of focusing on what I am doing now. So the next question is, hey girl, do you use the oval makeup blending brushes? And I have tried them, not the actual original Artiste brushes or the MAC ones. I don't really want to spend that much money on them because personally, I don't really like them. Personally, prefer 
the Beauty Blender to apply my foundation and my face makeup just because I feel like it gives me a lot more of a flawless base and it's really weird because I've heard so so many good things about them and as soon as I got a set from La Rock to actually film a video on them I personally just didn't like how they applied makeup. But obviously everyone has different preferences, everyone has said that they really like them. Don't think that I'm saying the brushes are rubbish because I'm not, I'm just saying I just don't personally like them. So the next question is will you be doing a skincare routine at any point and yes I'm going to be doing a skincare routine soon. I actually have a collab planned with another one of my YouTube friends and she's doing another routine video. I'm going to be doing a skincare routine video. We don't actually know when we're going to be uploading it yet but there is 100% going to be a skincare routine soon because I've mentioned it in a lot of my videos recently that my skin is cleared up so well and I just want to share with you my skincare routine so I am going to be doing one soon just stay tuned for it the next question is what's your favorite makeup geek eyeshadow you know that I love my makeup geek products so I think I have like 20 to 25 makeup geek pans now and I personally really like them I have a few shades that I normally reach for on an everyday basis I really really enjoy the shade creme brulee I use that in a lot of my makeup tutorials as my transition color and I also love the shade bitten I'm wearing that all over the lid today and I'm using a creme brulee to just blend that all out and I really love the shade bitten because it's just such a beautiful burgundy color and I've never seen a color like that before I just I just think it's so so beautiful and I personally really love the shade burgundy so I think uh, my two favorite shades out of the ones I own are creme brulee and bitten the next question is what is your favorite makeup brand and my favorite makeup brand is probably either MAC or Too Faced I personally really really love MAC face products because their face products are really really good I own um, quite a few of their face products and I personally really like them and then Too Faced I really like their eye products I own one of their palettes and they are incredible the formulation of the eyeshadows are really creamy and pigmented and they, they just apply so so well to the eye and blend out like with ease so I personally like MAC and Too Faced if I was maybe talking about drugstore I really like L'Oreal I think their products are really sort of luxury high quality however they are on the cheaper side of makeup okay so I think I have one more question from snapchat and it is what's it like now you've left school and what do you do in your free time so ever since I've left school I've left school I think about two and a half months ago now which is crazy because it feels like yesterday I was in school and I literally have my results day in like 20 days which is quite scary <laughs> ever since I've left school I feel like I have a lot more freedom what I like most about not being at school is probably the uniform and the rules because in the UK we have to wear school uniform in primary and secondary school until we're 16 and then obviously we go on to college and we can wear sort of like our own clothes we can wear a lot more makeup we can uh, wear piercings and all of that so I really like how we can express ourselves a lot more since we, now that we've left school and she also asked uh, what I do in my free time I obviously make videos and I edit and I spend a lot of time with Connor but I just want to be stress-free for a while and I just want to relax and have fun the weather has been really really shit the past couple like a week and I just haven't really been wanting to go out and um, I just edit film videos and that's personally what I really really love to do so so I'm now gonna move on to Instagram and I've got quite a few questions on Instagram so the first question is from Misty Tilson and she asked what is your biggest regret if you have any I do have quite a few regrets but I'm not going to go in to like my biggest ones because I just I don't really want to like share that personal information my first one would probably be drifting away from my childhood older friends and um, because I did lose quite a few friends from that another one that I really really have um, regretted is changing myself to fit in with other people because I have done that the past couple years to actually find a friendship group and it's really really sad because I I'm the sort of person that really advocates sort of being yourself 
and just sort of like expressing who you are but I can say that I have kind of put on an act to fit in with a friendship group and that's not nice and um, recently I have sort of found myself a lot more I've just matured a lot more and I'm really 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 happy now that I have um, sort of like stopped pretending who I was so that's probably one of my biggest regrets or two of my biggest regrets I did mention too the next question is from Ison and I mentioned her at the start of the video she asked which countries have you visited and what other countries would you like to visit so I have visited quite a few, not a lot because I don't travel a lot because it's expensive. <laughs> I've visited Spain, Sweden, Africa, Uganda, and I think that's it actually. Oh, oh and France. Did I mention France? So it's not a lot, but um, it's a lot for me because I don't travel a lot. So I went to Africa with the school to do volunteer work and it was incredible. It's one of the most amazing experiences I have ever experienced and I really, really want to go back. I've also visited Spain and France and I think for the UK and people in England, those two places are the places that we normally go on holiday um, just because they're hot and they're in Europe so they're easy to get to. And I've also been to Sweden because my family, some of my family are Swedish so um, I have been to Sweden and that is also a really really beautiful place. The places I want to visit is definitely America, I 100% want to go to America and I also want to go to Australia really badly. I definitely think those two places are the most wanted places and I also want to go to Tokyo in Japan. Oh, that would be amazing. So um, the next question is from Lily White and she asks, what's your ambition or main goal in life? I think my main goal in life is to be happy and live a really happy life and live life to its fullest. So I want to do a lot of things with my life. And my ambition is to become a full qualified makeup artist professional and I also just want to be a YouTuber because that's also what I really love to do. I love beauty, makeup and also entertaining and I can do both of them things through YouTube so I really want to do makeup artistry but do YouTube at the same time. Um, the next question is from Leah and she asked if you won the jackpot lottery what would what would be the first thing you'd buy? I would probably buy a MacBook <laughs> or a computer just so that I can edit my videos a lot better and I would also buy a lot of filming setup because I really want that at the moment and I would donate a lot of money to the charity in Africa because I've also visited them. I would really love to donate more money to them because they definitely deserve it. I'd probably do a massive giveaway for you guys as well. Like, not gonna lie, I'd probably go on like a full shopping spree just for you and just like give away a whole load of things just because I love giving back to you and I definitely think you guys deserve it because you have supported me so much. So, the next question is from Ellie Belly 800 and she asks if you may made your own makeup line, what product would be the first to launch an eyeshadow palette? 100%. I really, really want to reach that goal in life where I can actually, sorry, I need to answer this goal. Ah! Hello? I really, really want to make a makeup line and um, I think that's sort of like my main goal. Love doing eyeshadow looks. I love experimenting with different colours and all of that. So I would 100% do a eyeshadow palette and I wouldn't create it like rubbishly. I would make the best eyeshadows ever. I wouldn't do like shit formula and I wouldn't collaborate with a rubbish brand. I would literally go full out and create the best fucking eyeshadows there is because I want the best for you guys. And if I make a makeup product, I want it to be the best. So the next question is from xx.hands and she asked what's your favourite movie? I've, lo I've watched a lot of movies in my time, <laughs> in my 16 years on this planet. I would probably say my favourite movie is Catwoman. If you haven't seen that movie then go and watch it because it's actually a really really good movie. I think that's probably like my favourite movie because the storyline is amazing. It's really really different to any other sort of like superhero movie. I really love action movies as well. I like my chick flick movies, but I wouldn't say any of them are my favourite. I kind of only watch them when I'm bored. Catwoman, 100%. I love that movie so, so much. And you should 100% go watch it if you haven't watched it already, because it's a good movie. <laughs> okay, so moving on to YouTube questions. I have quite a few from Abby Saunders. So the first question she asks is, would you rather smell all your life or never eat again? 
I would rather smell my whole life. I would not want to never eat again because I would die. I would die within two weeks if I never I ate because obviously you need food to live. She also asked what's your favorite color. My favorite color is black and white because I'm basic and I don't like color. Um, yeah, black and white. <laughs> um, another question is from Billabong and she asked, who is your favorite YouTuber? Ooh. I really like Zoella. I love her videos, I love her vlogs. I also love Manny Emmy Way. He's fucking slaying at life. And Nikki Tutorials, I love her. And I have so many favorite YouTubers, like I can't just list them all right now. I would probably say that Zoella is my favorite YouTuber. She is a massive inspiration and I just really, really enjoy her videos. I have a few from Princess Farah. The first one, she says, what do you want to be in the future? And I want to be a makeup artist, I've already mentioned this, and I also want to do YouTube. And she also asks, will you complete studying? I can't say for definite, but I, I definitely want to complete my studying. Oh, she also asks, or oh, just want to be a YouTuber? Well, I kind of would want to do both. I would want to complete my studying, but then do YouTube at the same time as like sort of like a hobby. And then once I had completed YouTube, maybe I could go into it full time. At the moment, I'm doing YouTube full time. I don't want that to change, but it might, if it gets a little bit stressful when I go back to school, then it, I might end up not doing it full time, which is quite a shame. But I definitely want to do YouTube full time because it really does make me happy. And so the next question is asked by Lewis Scarlett and she asks, have you ever had people make fun of you for doing YouTube? And if so, how did you handle it? Yes, I have had people make fun of me. And I have had quite a few incidents where people have mocked me. It did hurt, but it, it's just, it's like, why? Why Why do you want to mock me? Because I'm doing something I love, people are supporting me, and you're just one of those people that just don't want to support me, then fair enough. But you don't have to hate on me, you don't have to make fun of me, it's sort of like something that I really love to do. But I just really don't see the point in people that make fun of people because they're doing something they love. YouTube is a really, really good hobby. It's a really good thing to make friends and to make connections with people. So I think it's just an amazing platform and I don't understand why someone would want to make fun of someone because they do it. I have been made fun of and the way I handled it is I just appreciating the love that I got and the support. If you are being made fun of because you make YouTube videos then honestly just forget about those people because YouTube is an amazing platform and you will make, make so many friends from it and you will gain so much support from it also because there are so many people going through the same thing so if you are going through that then I'm sorry, but just you need to forget about it. You need to let it slip your mind and not acknowledge the hate and just appreciate the love. So the next question is asked by Shell Shay and she asks, what's your guilty pleasure if you have one? Okay, so my guilty pleasure is probably watching TV programs. When I watch a TV program, I am in that TV program and I know those people and I get connections with people. I really get into TV programs because it, when The Walking Dead finished, I was outraged. Like, outraged. Like, oh, I was so, so annoyed. So definitely my guilty pleasure is watching TV programs and and like knowing the characters and having a connection with them because I love TV programs. <laughs> so the next question is asked by Mia Rose and she asks what's your favorite skincare brand? My favorite skincare brand is probably Neutrogena. Their products are really good. I've tried a few products from their range now and I really, really like them. They have cleared up my skin pretty well and the dermatod whatever that word is, they're that tested and they're proven to like be really good for your skin. So I really like Neutrogena and they're also very affordable because they're drugstore so I personally really really love their products. Oh my god this is the last question! That's so sad! The next question is asked by Emily Lampia and she asked would you rather be blind or deaf? I wouldn't want to be any of them because it would be awful. I really feel for the people who are blind or deaf because I just would hate to be blind or deaf. I love my senses and I really appreciate having them. To be honest, I would rather be deaf because I like seeing things and I wouldn't mind using sign language or people using sign language to talk to me. I wouldn't mind that. 
Okay, so that is all the questions I'm going to be answering today. Hopefully I answered your question and you got to know a little bit more about me and you also found out the answer to the question you asked. Let me know if you want me to do another Q&A soon. I kind of want to do monthly Q&As but I think that might be a bit too much. So maybe a Q&A every couple of months would be cool, so let me know if you would like that. If you haven't seen my channel before and this is the first video that you've come across and aren't subscribed, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. I post videos every Wednesday and Sunday and do makeup and beauty videos, that's what I really love to do. Anyway, I'm going to end this video now. I'm Hopefully the video isn't too long, I'm praying it's not going to be. I'll try to edit it down as much as I can. But I love you guys so, so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!